of actually has some weather predictions. There's actually some snowflakes in the forecast. That's awesome, dude. Should we should we do the, like one of these deals where we do split up? Let's keep cruising up, see where if there's anybody if there is anybody parked, mm -hmm. and then we'll listen to those two or three bowls that we we're talking about last night, Colin. Okay. We get a guy out here listening for them gobbles down Chandra. Especially if the wind isn't bad. Yeah, I don't think it even I is. Doubt it is. Oh, and as soon as I say that. Oh. Man, what a morning. Unbelievable fog. How's the spot back there? Dude, I'm so crammed in here. Like my head touches the ceiling back here. Looks pretty awesome on the camera. Does it look good? Yeah. It doesn't feel good, so like that's cool. <laughs> Looks kinda cozy, but it is kind it would be kinda cozy if like I fit. Zach and Colin literally just dropped me off and cruised down that way down the road. This is the spot that Ben and Mike hunted Sunday morning. The bird gobbling down there. This is a bird that gobbled a lot for him and they, I think, kind of bumped a little bit that day. Weather is extremely not ideal right now, but Zach's probably gonna come back this way. Here he comes. He's down there. He's down there, just like, let me hop in and pull up. He's fired up, son. Oh yeah. <laughs> we just need to park where he's not gonna hear us park. Yeah, I know, so I would just say just pull up pretty far. So he said, can you pin him on there? Well, we got one on, that's awesome. He says he's gobbling hard. How many times you hear him? Uh, at least like 10. Really? Oh yeah, he's going. So this is where we I just need to, to get out that big ridge that he's on. To just do the same exact thing that we did the other day. I was standing here, and he was gobbling down in here, and the spot that Ben pinned where he was at was like right there. Okay. There. Oh, there it is. Saved, yeah. Okay. Oh, it's just we don't like want a dreary, like foggy, dense morning too. Oh, no kidding. Yeah, well, I didn't know. No. <laughs> <laughs> I stepped out of the car, closed the door, and like as I was getting to the back of the car, and like the car was starting to pull away, I was just like, pretty sure that was one down there. And I was like, I don't know, I'll just sit and wait a little bit, and then like 10 seconds later, he's just like, <laughs> and then like, bam. That sure enough is him, old 10 gobbler. <laughs> Some high work here. We're hunting. Here and there. Left side of this ridge? Yeah. Let's just start taking it yeah. out then? Yeah.
see that way. Yeah, I think da definitely down though, yeah. Or you might need to shift your gun up to the left. You might take high ground. Left-handers are just backwards, man. You just don't even make any sense. Okay, closer.
get him? Yep. Yeah, buddy. Really? Yes. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Come on, buddy. <Woo>! Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Dude, yeah. yeah. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> hey, that's all right, right, buddy. <laughs> oh, what was that? F 10 yards? 15 yards? Oh, Dude, gone. holy cow. Dude, he just, he hopped up on that log and he was like over here. Being left handed sucks, dude. Oh, yeah, especially when you're hunting with a bunch of righties. <laughs> like I just told you, like, man, I know you, because that tree we set up on back there was such a right hander's tree. <laughs> and I'm like, I can shoot with my right hand, but. It's not worth it because I don't practice enough. <laughs> oh my god! Dude, hey, you did you Dude. did you that did great, great, great job, Kyle. Hey, no, we all did great. We just that setup was wicked. Keith, West Virginia has been the best hunting I've had in two months. <laughs> like I've been in range of turkeys three Almost out of, three uh -huh. out of four days. I'm just so beat down from just constant. Like this is the first turkey in two months Se <laughs> second turkey ever hey dude you did you you pulled you pulled a move on that turkey like yeah, not dude, a lot of hunters heard, will I just, pull i heard the putt and i was like yeah. i couldn't see anything i could hardly hear you even whispering i just heard like gun barrel i like heard that, the and putt like, oh, and he turned he dropped his head but he didn't drop down like mm -hmm. just kind of did like a goose thing where the heck's his beard He's just, what's he got? Oh yeah, that's sweet. But he's got a little baby. Oh no, there he is. No, there, there she is. is. I was gonna say, he was, oh, he's dude. Done. That's all 10 gobs over there. Yeah, that's the one that. <laughs> hey, you heard him this morning. <laughs> yes, yeah, dude. dude. Hey, great, great. That was a, that's a team right there. That's, that was awesome, That dude. pretty much worked out perfectly. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you wanna see my little turkey pants? <laughs> <laughs> Heck yeah, dude. Hey, thanks, guys. <laughs> you bet, man. <laughs> thanks for going to Turkey Tour and with us. I'm glad that you finally got to shoot at one. Dude, we'll get them another one of these. <laughs> you just want to do a turkey game? Boom, boom, boom. 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 That's boom. two birds, that's two birds, dead <laughs> in the mountain. <laughs> What a day. Yeah, I mean, what a what a trip, really. I feel like what we thought coming in was not what it ended up being at all. Very grand scale, like very grand scale in comparison to everything we've been doing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think in the grand scheme, it's like very similar to what we're used to doing. It's just like a way larger scale where you have to zoom out and look at these big hills and like how much land there is that you're working with. And you're like, well, like there probably are a decent amount of birds in there, but you have to find the pockets where they're like, there's one bird and there's you know, three or four of these secondaries and you have to find the right one that they're gonna be on. And if you aren't, you're not gonna hear them. Yeah. And I think that's the one thing you, that you could struggle with coming to here is like getting on the bird right off the bat. And like, but we're, we've been hearing them from the road though. And like, I think that's a huge takeaway for me is like, hey, don't overlook the highest point. Yeah. I mean, we got up here on, we found this road, we scouted it out the other day when you and I came back in here. And then we started kind of focusing in on this area as a group. We started to figure it out as a group. I like to get close to turkeys, dude. Mm -hmm. I mean, I want to be 100 yards from them every time I set up. And I don't know that either one of these turkeys were less than 200, 250 yards when we first started calling to them, you know? Yeah. Yeah, they're not afraid to move far in this. That's the one thing we talked about on like the first time we got on a bird is like, I feel like we're gonna have to kind of step back and not be as aggressive as what we have been in like in other places. And that stuff you can't move very far. <laughs> no, it's no, it's so weird. open. And I, that's probably why they'll move so far. I think mm -hmm. it is. It's, yeah. Last night we were looking at the weather. We are talking about driving to a different part of West Virginia to chase the weather. I mean, we, and, we, and we almost did because in different parts of the state, it's not gonna be raining today. Mm -hmm. And like the thing that we ultimately came down to is like, these birds are used to this weather, you know? A turkey that lives in 45 degree mornings that are rainy all the time and windy, I mean, he's used to it. He's gonna gobble. Don't get discouraged if you're hunting, you know, an area and a bird goes quiet. Heck, that first turkey that we got, we almost gave yeah. up on him. Mm -hmm. Patience is a huge factor. Now, I say that and it probably on the surface looks like we're not patient at all because we're just constantly scrambling. But like, 
moving down this ridge, stopping and listening for long periods of time are things that we're cutting out of these videos. But we play it really slow when we're out here and I think that's really important and staying up high. You know that first day, Ben and Mike said, water everywhere, can't hear anything. Well, if you get down low, you're gonna get can't trapped with water and you're gonna be overwhelmed. But if you stay up high, and you play it slow in this open stuff, you're gonna be able to call them a little bit further. That's a main takeaway for me. Yeah. And, and having the, confidence yeah. in your calling, I think is important. And on this back yeah. side of the mountain too. When that wind is whipping on that other side of the mountain, you have to take advantage of being on where you can actually hear them. Cause they might be gobbling over there, but like if you're up there in the wind, you're not gonna hear them. And like, we got to this point right here where there's that knob. We were back behind the knob and I got out of the car and heard like right away. Cause there's no really realistically no wind where. Yeah, our predominant wind at. is coming over this top and both the turkeys we got were on windy mornings, like really windy in mm -hmm. the trees. And really you go up there to the very tip top, mm -hmm. it's gonna be windy. When yeah. we dropped you off, we went down, got out of the car and did a, a minute listen. Zach poked to this side of the mountain and I was on that side and I'm like, I can't hear nothing. <laughs> and I just took 10 yards off the road and just drop and 10 feet dead. down. Yeah. yeah, It's way calmer. Mm -hmm. But we made an adjustment as soon as we got here, you're just reading the woods, man, and we, we did that perfectly today. Mm -hmm. I'm really, really proud of us as a group to be able to come into these new areas. You know, never been here, and I mean, we know nothing about the area. And the reason that we want to do that is it's, it's making us learn on the fly, and I love that. That is my favorite part of hunting. Sometimes it's stressful. Some days you're just like, on top of the world, you just got a turkey, you know exactly what's going on. And other days, hunting pressure is getting to you. You're not hearing birds, you're covering a bunch of miles, and that brings you down. Mm -hmm. But if you stay positive and you keep learning, that's what the fun of turkey hunting is. The places that turkeys take you and the challenges that they can bring in new areas makes it fun to me. Stay two for me. Two of 49. <laughs> hey dudes, that was awesome. <laughs> let's go back. Let's pack up and go to Maryland. Yeah, let's go. It's snowing here and I really don't want it to be snowing where I'm at. <laughs> <so>. <laughs>So for lunch, we've got some leftover turkey. We cooked all of Zach's bird yesterday. So we had pretty much a whole breast left. So what we decided to do for lunch was we threw in a can of baked beans on the stove and just sliced up that turkey into really small chunks, mixed it in here just to heat it up. You know, we don't have a microwave out here. We use the beans mostly just to heat it up. Yeah, it's a lot easier to heat solids up in a liquid. I did something similar to this the other day, except we used like a Spanish rice. That was also really good. But I think that cooking this in the baked beans is gonna give it a really cool, like different flavor. You're not even gonna notice it's leftovers. Mmm, mmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> See you, West Virginia.